Howdy folks, TJ here, making a video on my first Hazet brand. Is that, oh, there's a corgi behind there, a puppy, 11 weeks old. She may bark a little bit, but I wanted to do a video with her in it, kind of. Uh, and I'll show, you, I'll show her at the end, or him. This is the first male puppy we've ever had. But this is the first also Hazet or Hazet assistant that I've ever purchased. See, I've been into the Volkswagen air-cooled scene since around 2000, 2001, when I purchased my first Volkswagen. So kind of late in life, I guess. I was in my 30s at the time when I purchased my first uh, Volkswagen, and I've been kind of a air-cooled aficionado uh, for a while now. Uh, about 2005, there was a company, and I don't remember who they were, but they were on eBay selling a knockoff Hazit Assistant that looked pretty nice. At the time, I think it was $2.99 plus shipping, so it came to $3.50, something like that. And it worked pretty well. I've got to admit that when I work on my Volkswagens, uh, on my bus uh, that I have, or any of the past ones, it's amazing how many tools get strewn around on the floor. And I have, over the years, so many tools around the floor. I'll kick something and I not notice it, and I'll go shooting over and I'll go underneath something, and I'll say, I'll get it later. And then about three years later, I go, oh, shit, there's a nice tool under there. <laughs> so I need to get stuff off the floor. So the nice thing about the generic one I had, it worked pretty well. Uh, it was kind of an off blue. It didn't look like the nice Hazet blue. It was kind of like a dark blue color. Not even dark blue. It was just kind of a weird blue color. But it worked well, and it was the right price for me at the time. And I enjoyed it. Uh, and then later on, probably 10 years ago, at an antique store... There was a red hazard that was there, but it wasn't a hazard. Is it hazard? Hazard? Hazardous? Hazardous? <laughs> I'm going to call it hazard because I think that's the proper pronunciation. Uh, but anyway, I read one that was out at an antique store, and it was an outside antique store. So it was getting rained on. It was a little rusty. It was red in color, and it didn't quite look like the generic one that I had had, but it may have been, again, another knockoff that uh, somebody was selling. I've seen some other red hosets out there, but they would normally say, I think, hosset. This one didn't have it, so it was probably another generic one. Needless to say, I owned two at one point, sold the red one uh, uh, a while back, and then eventually I said, you know what, I want to have the real deal. Uh, so I sold uh, the generic one, and I kept saving, and I finally found the right one for me. You know, the hosset uh, has a lot of different models in this tool trolley. It's not a tool chest. It's a tool trolley that is really a neat, it's collapsible. You'll see in a second, it's really unique if you've never seen one. It's much nicer than the big things that you can buy that have casters and wheels and has all your tools. Those are kind of big blocky. They're not portable. You can't just throw it in a car. Uh, or you can, I guess, if you're a gorilla or, or the Hulk or somebody strong. I'm not. I wanted something that I could take with me on a trip if I had to. Uh, and even the 166 model, I think, is the model. Or it might even be 160, but something else. Uh, it's a little big. It's a little wider. It's a little uh, girthier. Uh, the posts on it are a little beefier. And so I stumbled across, and I kept researching. I found this mini Assi, uh, A-S-S-I, Assisi. Uh, no, that's Francis of Assisi, the patron of the animals. <laughs> uh, but I'm going to call this one Assisi, I think. But it's a mini Assi, mini assistant. Uh, 160. It's a hosset. It's official. I don't know what year this particular model was made, uh, but I was able to get one from Germany for a fair price. It was around 400 bucks shipped. A little cheaper, I think, probably would have cost me 450 to 500 range for a decent um, full-sized one. But I started thinking, you know, everybody here in the United States, typically, if they have one, is probably the full-size. This tickled my fancy because it's a little smaller, a little bit more petite. And if I want to take it with me, it's almost like a glorified big toolbox that rolls. It's got rollers on it. It's got casters on it. And see, if I want to use it kind of like a toolbox and load up, the pole, posts on this are small enough where I can lift it with one hand unless the, the tools inside start getting a little too heavy, which they can. But it, it just made it look like a glorified toolbox that has nice rollers on it. And let me lift this up. The casters even have little locks on them, so you can lock it from rolling. The back end's got some nice tires. Uh, it's a Hazet Mini, a C, a Sissy, a C, <laughs> a Assy, <laughs> assistant uh, model. And let me show you, if you've never seen one of these, they're really cool. Let me kind of roll it around a little bit. And if my puppy barks, well, so be it. Uh, she's part of the family, so 
one post, two posts. Grab on the corner. It's going to be a little noisy. Ex excuse the noise. You see what just happened? Let me make sure this is all on the camera and I'll take it off. Hi, Pop. Cooper. Oh, uh, yeah, it's mostly in there. Let me just point it down a little bit. So, this bad boy is a collapsible, telescopic, <laughs> uh, tool chest, box, trolley, officially a trolley, that has multi-levels. This one's a little deeper down here, and I'll bring the camera over in a second. And these have, this one's just mostly open. This has got a couple of dividers in it. And then you have a work table up on top where you can put your often used tools. So instead of me having a thousand tools around me when I'm working on something and then never taking them up off the floor and putting them up in the master tool chest because I say, oh, I'm going to go back in a little bit and work on it, which I, takes weeks to happen or months. Uh, uh, this way I can kind of keep them generally organized, have the ready to go. What am I doing today? Brakes. We'll make sure this is all stocked up with everything I need to do brakes so I don't have to keep going back to my master toolbox all the time. So it's really nifty and then it collapses back down to something small. Let me take the camera off and I'll kind of show you. So this is the mini SSE <laughs> and, and it is pretty good condition. I don't know what year this is, but you'll see the bottom cavity has quite a bit room for a little the stuff that's a little bit taller. And then the second shelf up, nice and wide, plenty of room. This one's got some dividers. And then on the top, you've got this nice little rubber mat. And you can put your, say for example, I'm doing something, and here is my Tang Tools uh, ratchet that I actually use just to put the um, casters on. <laughs> you can have your readily to go tools up on top so you can quickly grab them and do your thing. And here's a big screwdriver also as an example. So yeah, you can put a number of tools up there and kind of do the job. Now this is not that wide, so you'll kind of see for width, it's about seven and a half to eight inches roughly wide. So it's a little narrower, narrower than the other typical uh, hosets that you see. But it's still pretty nice. Let's just, just kind of see, this, this is a big ass screwdriver. So this would not fit in there. <laughs> so there's gonna be some things that you're gonna have to, for example, uh, here's the second shelf. So just to kind of show you an example. So I, I may have some uh, batch of screwdrivers laying in here and then some ratchets and kind of divide a few things up here. Then down here, some maybe uh, lubes or grease or something. I have to figure out what I'm gonna decorate this thing with and what I'm gonna put in here. But needless to say, I'm gonna try to set it up to where it can have your basics in here at all times. And then for whatever I'm gonna be doing, I can uh, pack it with stuff as I'm gonna be doing a certain job and be ready for it. So let me put this back on here. So I'll just kind of show you around. So the back's got some nice wheels. And then the front has your little rotating tires. And there is locks on them, so. That's cool. Very nice. And here's the other side. Basically it shows the same thing. So let me go put the camera back on here and we'll close it as if we're done for the day and then we'll wrap up this video. Cool. All right. Let me take up my tools. So I may need to loop this a little bit. It is a little noisy. So I'll ask in the Hazit uh, uh, groups uh, if there's anything recommended for, you know, this is just a chain here, but I'm guessing there's still some things that maybe you can do to quiet it up just a little bit. but. And needless to say, I'm not going to be doing this around my wife when she's trying to sleep. <laughs> Buttons on here, there's just two latches. And there's little holes right here that you can kind of like put your fingers in. And they're not going to get uh, slammed into something that, at least so far, I haven't detected that. So I push these down with the palms. Yeah, I need to lube up these things a little bit. Everything's a little stiff. Uh, I'm sure I could put some lube and stuff here to make things a little easier to depress. But I should be able to depress down and kind of push down a little bit. But then everything, if you kind of guide it down, you see the other shelves are kind of closing. And then ultimately, when that, oh, that one smacks you in the head, uh, close one, close two, then you're ready to pick up and leave. So, see you later. Bye. <laughs> this is so awesome.